Kurnichukovsky, wash him clean. From my bed, the blanket fled, and the sheet refused to stay, and the pillow, like a billow, gathered up and flew away. I got up to reach the light, but it also took to flight. I decided I would look at my colored picture book. In a twinkling it had fled hiding underneath the bed, when I thought I'd have some tea. Cups and saucers ran from me. Teaspoons, teapot, cream and eggs. Ran as though they all had legs. What has happened? What's the matter? What's the reason for this rout? What a tumult, what a clatter. Has the world turned inside out? Mother's irons chased the dippers, while the birdcage chased the slippers, and the slippers chased the nippers, and the poker chased the toys. What a tumult, what a racket, what a horrid, horrid noise. Suddenly from mummy's bedroom, crooked-legged, old and lame, straight towards me came the washstand and he scolded as he came. Oh, you nasty little slacker. Oh, you naughty little squirt. There's no chimney sweep who's blacker. There's no pig so fond of dirt. Take a look into the mirror. See the ink spots on your nose and your neck, your dirty fingers. Never wash them, I suppose. So no wonder even stockings couldn't stand a sight so shocking. Every morning, bright and early, all the little mice go washing, and the kittens, and the ducklings, and the ants and spiders, too. All but you have washed this morning, brushed their teeth and combed their hair. You're the only piggy wiggy. So you've nothing left to wear. I'm a great and famous washstand. Wash em clean is what I'm called. I command the other washstands. I have troops of sponges bold. If I stamp or wave my hand, all the troops at my command will come rushing to this room with a clangor and a boom. They will start to snort and howl, they will stamp their feet and growl. Though it won't be quite a whipping, you'll be scrubbed until you gleam. And a dipping, and a dipping, they will give you in the stream. Then he smote his bowl of brass, and he cried, Carabaras. And at once a swarm of brushes chirped and darted round like thrushes. And they scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed, saying as they scrubbed and rubbed me, We will wash this little blighter, whiter, 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 whiter. We will scrub this naughty mite, white, 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 white. Then the soap jumped up, or rather, simply pounced upon my head. And it covered me with lather, till I thought I'd soon be dead. To escape the raging sponge, in the ocean I could plunge. But it wouldn't let me be, everywhere it followed me. I rushed out into the square, jumped across a railing there. But it followed like a hound, biting me at every bound. Suddenly around a turning, I saw their old Uncle Croc. With his twins he was returning from an early morning walk. And that sponge which dared to follow, like a bit of fluff he swallowed. Then he turned bloodshot eyes and he glared. Then he stamped and he shouted and flared. What an awful disgrace! Go at once and wash your face. If you don't, I will beat you. If you don't, I will eat you. I ran homeward like a streak of lighting then, till in front of wash em clean I stood again. Soap and water, soap and water, I applied with all my might. Washed the dirt off, washed the ink off, till my face was beaming white. Back my clothes came in a band, jumping straight into my hand, and a pie stood up on end, saying, you can eat me, friend. Then an apple from the south flew and landed in my mouth. There's my picture book returning, and my toys, both small and big. There's my book of sums and prima, joining in a merry jig. Then the great and famous washstand, wash him clean, as he is called. Who commands all other washstands, who has troops of sponges bold, ran towards me dancing, prancing, kissing me. He said and smiled, that's a darling, now you're splendid, now that all your ways have mended, all your nasty habits ended, now you look a decent child. Every morning, every evening, we must play the washing game, and to those who are always dirty, lasting shame, lasting shame, hooray for towels and sponges, hooray for soapy foam, hooray for snow white toothpaste, hooray for brush and comb. 
then let us all wash every morn, every day. Let's splash in the water and merrily play in bathtubs, in washtubs, in basins and bowls, in oceans, in rivers, with boats and with balls. Washing is healthy for young and for old. So glory to water, both steaming and cold. The End Dug by Alex the Storyteller Subscribe